All right, Jace, let's let's backtrack, dude. It has been five years since you've been here. Yeah. The gypsies in America. Where do we even start? We we together, you and I shot um a lot. A lot, yes. But we did Ryan Dungey Homegrown, his retirement video. We were in Kansas together. Yep. Uh standing in nine feet of corn in Dungey jumping in and out of it. You were on a phantom camera running around with a generator, if I remember correctly. Yeah, generator yeah. in one hand, four hundred <laughs> yeah. pound uh phantom in the other. Yeah. Then we did straight rhythm. Yep. And then I haven't seen you for five years. What no, happened? Literally straight rhythm 2017. Yeah. So th- it's funny because there's so many people that still don't know that I like haven't been in the US because obviously there's a bunch of US yeah. podcasts. So y- you have a lot of US people on there. So I, even me, I'm like, how did you teleport over here, dude? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you, I would just teleport in and out as yep. I could to far. I mean, it's a good customs. way. It's a good way. Yeah. It's a good way to make yeah. customs. I probably should have just sold my teleportation <laughs> technology <laughs> instead of give away my podcast for free a moto on the podcast. YouTube. Yeah. It's like, I just wanted to get the product right. It, it's because you yeah. love the sport so much or you love sports in general so much. Yeah. That was yeah. like, you know what? I don't know. Nobody to give back to the community. Yeah. I don't need these trillions of dollars in it's not about technology. Money. Yeah. But no, so I 2017 did straight rhythm. I my ex-girlfriend, her mum got sick. So I like went home to try and like be with my sick girlfriend's mum. Uh and I didn't have a work visa at that time. So I had a work visa for a long time. And then I was trying to come in on a on a holiday visa, got stopped at the stopped at the border basically. Uh, and the guy was like, what are you doing here? And he said, are you working? And I was like, I'm not working. I'm not working. I kind of like, <laughs> I'm not working. Clearly Why do you have not 14 working. cameras with you. Well, no, 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 it's just for personal use. Yeah. And there was like a whole thing. I was like, well, dude, I, I had a company here. I lost my working visa. I'm trying to get my working visa back. It yeah. was, I was trying to explain the whole deal and the guy just wasn't having it. And you know, you just, just get like that, that one guy that had a bad day. Um, and then that whole process led to me basically getting a life ban on my ESTA, which is like the, the, the treaty between Australia and the U S so you can basically, any American can go to Australia without a, without a visa for three months. And so I was trying to like come in on Ah. that and it had been like a couple of times because I like lost this working visa and I was setting up a new company and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the guy basically just said, you're done here, bro. And uh, <laughs> I, you've told me this story before. How long were you detained at LAX? Dude, I was in jail. Like they literally at LAX. LAX in a cell. Oh. Cause I kind of kicked off a little bit. Like once I figured out that I was. Yeah, you were, you were fucked anyway. Yeah, I was yeah. like, Google Burley, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's where I'm going. You'll, Sigma Bowers, bear. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you'll still be in this motherfucker. So anyway, they, they like threw me in jail. It was so gnarly too. Like, they took the uh, they took the string out of my sweater. They wouldn't let me use my shoes. Wow. They cut the they didn't string want you out of yourself. Legit, in the- <laughs> yeah, legit. So I like laid, and it was bright. It was like this bright white box of a room with a concrete like bed, a stainless steel pisser, and Some that, dude that named was Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> No, that was with me and Bear. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I just spent like 24 hours in this fucking jail cell in LAX. And then uh, I got marched onto the plane in handcuffs. Shut up. They legit, I was just like, they treated me like I was trying to blow the, the place up. And then, yeah, so I just like got put on a plane and, and that was it. And the reason why it took... I always wanted to come back to the US. Like I'd spent most of my twenties yeah. here. Obviously this is like where the sport is and like my kind of my shit. You know? and, yeah. and uh but I basically couldn't come back unless I was on a legitimate visa. And so but I mean, it's one of those things like I I say it all the time on, on the podcast when I'm talking to people that it's like sometimes the best things in your life come out of the worst things in your life. And I mean I just remember being in that room thinking like, dude, you have just ruined your life. Like you'd work to get here and you'd work for all this and you've like ruined your life. You've let down all these people. Like I had a dog in America, I had a car, I had like, or it was literally a nightmare. Um, but I'd done to go back to the homegrown. Jeremy from Red Bull had given me his credit card to like buy a couple podcast mics to do this podcast with Adam LaRoche and Ryan Dungey to try and like use it for voiceover mm-hmm. for the, uh, for the homegrown project. And, yeah, and ironically it became episode four, which is really episode one. That was the very was first, the first time Gypsy I ever, Tales yeah. podcast wow. that we ever recorded. Yeah. And no I way. remember, I remember Dungey, he came up to me after we did it and he was like, dude, 
like I've done a lot of interviews. I've done a lot of this stuff. Like we've worked together a bunch. He's like, that was really, really good. He's like, I think you should do more of this. 